Hey everybody, um, at home today, bit of a back trouble, so um, so home from work, and I realized as I'm kicking around here that I never made the video for the comics, so um, that's what we're doing here. I'll try to make this uh, quick, but um, some good stuff. Uh, I'm going to start with this pile that I found um, in a store in Milwaukee. Uh, I was up there for something called Milwaukee Irish Fest, which I highly recommend. Um, so mostly, you know, cheap books, but um, but stuff that I like. So um, five Nexus books, um, 50 cents a piece. Um, not a huge amount of value here, but, um, you know, I think they were, I, I remember them from when I was a kid, and I think they're pretty cool. And I think, you know, this kind of early, mid-80s stuff is... I think do for a bump assuming you know if, if somebody picks up the character or you know there's there somebody starts reading them um i think i think they're i mean 50 cents so you know worth it um another 50 cent book alpha flight i think there are some um i think particularly in the burn run of alpha flight but there are some good um some good keys in there that are pretty pretty undiscovered um, Myth Conceptions. I read that series as a kid, and um, uh, the book series as a kid, and uh, decided to go ahead and pick them up. I mean, they're fifty cents, so see if they're any good. Um, this was in the fifty cent box too. Um, never heard of it, but it's signed. So Don Simpson ninety four. So that's got to be worth it. These were dollar books. Um, they're not in great shape, as you'd expect, but this is. Two, Daredevil 254 to 256 is um, the run first appearance of Typhoid Mary. So, um, and I think that's that character has has a room to go. Room to go. Um, some JSA books for a run I'm putting together. Um, it's not they're not really worth anything individually, but um, if I can put the whole run together, I might get I might get a couple of bucks. Um, the Red Star. Um, uh, a bunch of these for a buck. Um, this is a very strange series that um, there's, you know, television rumors about. So, um, you know, worth worth picking up for a for a for a nominal price. Um, New Mutants. Um, again, there are some kind of undiscovered keys in that in that run. Um, you know, first appearances, that kind of thing. And it's a really low priced, um, low priced title, so it's worth doing. I think, I forget. I think this is a, this is a first appearance of one of the characters. Um, this as well. I think this is Warlock. Um, this is first appearance of Legion. I think first appearance of Danny Proudstar's horse. <laughs> so, you know. Oh, I bet that's a barn burner. And then these are the ones that I actually spent um, money for. Um, you know, not in great condition. Avengers 10's first appearance of Rogue. Um, I don't know. I may have overpaid a little bit on that. But I think, again, this is another um, book with some room uh, to grow on it. And um, over time, it'll be, it'll be worth it. Um, Daredevil V2 111. Uh, first appearance of Lady Bullseye. Um, you know, I paid full price for these. They're not in, you know, this one is not in great shape. Second printing, who knows if that's worth anything. But um, this is, again, the first appearance of Legion. This is in much nicer shape, so that's three bucks. Um, first appearance of Warlock, uh, two bucks. Again, in better shape. Um, Marvel Premiere, 51. This is, um, you know, uh, the first appearance in this title for a solo Black Panther, um, I think. <laughs> I couldn't remember. I couldn't access a lot of my tools when I was in that shop. But, um, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. And uh, so his first solo appearance in, I think, since the Silver Age, if not his first solo appearance in his own title. So, um, so that's pretty good, you know. That's another one that, that if the character really takes off, I mean, his first appearance is taken off, but if the character gets a movie deal or something like that, then um, that might have some legs on it. 
Um, I love last issues and um, Defenders is a tough one because I, I I don't find these um, in the wild for in, with decent um, de in decent condition. So a um, little scuff there, not a scuff, but it's a looks like an ink stain. But um, still, you know, two bucks and it's in in pretty good shape. And then this was probably a pretty good find. Um, this is in excellent condition. Looks like it's been bagged. You know, since it since it came out, and you know these square bound books are kind of tough sometimes. So, um, so nine bucks for that, and I think online it'll probably it would probably get twenty something, but um, you know maybe twenty twenty five in that range. Uh, but I think I'll hold on to that for a while and maybe maybe get it slabbed. Um, so that's it for those books. Um, this is. From the same trip that I that I went to Indy. Hold on a second. So that same Indy trip where I got all the rest of the stuff I showed you guys last time. Um, I got these Alpha Flight. Um, you know, thirty three and thirty four first appearance of Lady Deathstrike. Um, you know, in decent condition, not super duper, but. Um, see if we can show you you know I think they're structurally great you know a couple you know a little bit of a fold on that corner and um, the staples just look strange they're not they're not bad they just kind of look a little funky um, but 429 um, and those are still you know those are still good ones this is the um, the first appearance the 254 um, in in decent shape I you know it's a shame about the miscut on the cover but what are you gonna do um, so five bucks on that and and I think that's still underpriced I think it's still I still got a pretty good deal on that and then um, 256 three bucks on this one I think again that's probably about right um, for this condition but um, you know, worth picking up if you can find them, especially if you can find them for cheaper, which you still can pretty frequently. There are runs of, you know, 90s um, Daredevils all over the place. So, so that was Hero House Comics. I found that in Indianapolis. That's a nice little store, so shout out to that. But that's it for the comics for now. Um, I'll go ahead and get this uploaded, and then... I'm listing a whole ton of stuff, um, starting it all Sunday night. It's free listing for me, so try to get as many of the 2,500 items that they offer up. Um, and I added a whole mess of books to Amazon as well. So, um, you know, check out my stores in the About Me section and uh, and buy my stuff because Papa needs a new pair of shoes. Anyway, hope you're having a, a, a better day than I am, and uh, have a good one.